welcome to our noontime broadcast of Morningstar Communications Network MCM Ministries. We got the signal that both networks are chiming in. And again, good afternoon. I'm Brian Hewitt. Our ministry full name is Morningstar Communications Network MCM Ministries. We are right here from Los Angeles, California, the West Coast of North America, bringing you the love of the Lord throughout all of Africa, India, Asia, Europe, Pacific Rim. We love you in Jesus' name. We're here to. For you to know us, we want to know you. So come and visit us at bryanthewitt.com. bryanthewitt.com. Visit our prayer requests, please. That's open all the time long. we got people reading it and lifting the rays to the praise of to the Lord Jesus Christ. So today, brothers and sisters, quick announcement. Anita is doing well. For those who do not see the gorgeous picture of her on the red carpet at the Taste of LA, she's doing well. There was her first outing, major outing since her uh, surgery. So again, we thank you for our prayers and support. And today we're going to be speaking of the topic of the need. Everyone has needs and the need. Which, which What do we call the greatest of all needs? We're going to be in Math, Mark, Mark chapter 16, verse chap, Mark chapter 16 as a foundation scripture. Let's, so let's get a clean sheet of notebook paper because we'll be doing some tap dancing through the scriptures. Let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We'll lay our hearts before you. You're the reason why we live from the secrets of our hearts. We thank you for this afternoon time, the evening time, throughout the, the markets and the worlds and the countries of overseas. From this hemisphere, Lord, we lift up the rays of praise unto you to guide us through this afternoon, this evening, for your eternal strength as we lift up the our prayers of repentance unto you. We cry unto you, O Lord, for from these new mercies that you put upon us of this new day, that you bless down upon us of wisdom and strength, wisdom and discernment, as we cry unto you that we want to know you ever some more every day, stronger than we knew you yesterday. For you are the God of now, the God of faith. We bless us to back up our works with faith. Bless us to find, give us the answers so we may ask the questions. For the master's name of Jesus, in Jesus' name, amen. Brothers and sisters, we have a need. Many are the needs of our day. The need for peace in our war and torn areas around the world. The need for food, clothing, and poverty-stricken countries. The need for loving families, civil rights, good-paying jobs. Yes, I suggest that the greatest need of our world is evangelism. Mark chapter 16, verse 15. And he said to them, Go into the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, verse 15. Preaching the word everywhere. A need that was met aggressively in the first century. Colossians chapter 1, tw verse 23. If indeed you continue in the faith, grounded and steadfast, and are not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you heard, which was preached to every creature under heaven, uh, of which I, Paul, became a minister. Preaching the word everywhere. Acts chapter 8, verse 5. Then Philip went down to the city of Samaria and preached Christ to them. Preached Christ to them. Paul was on, his, uh, was on the road to Damascus. He, he had... He was one of the high Pharisees of his day. He already killed a thousand people. But Christ appeared and said, before him says, Why do you why do you persecute my people? Are we coming to this time frame, brothers and sisters? Why are we persecuting ourselves? What is our needs? We have the physical needs, we have the emotional needs, we have the financial needs, we got needs, needs. Sometimes our needs do need needs. And how do we get that picture solved. How do we have our needs no longer having needs? We move into the picture of God's grace. We embrace His love. We are baptized by the blood of Calvary. We walk into the path where He wants us to be. Not where the ways of man want us to be. Not where some other ministers of Israel want us to be. It's where God wants us to be. In Jesus' name. We come into this time right now. But why the need is so great? The condition of the world, 
Look at it. We got Syria bombing each other, killing each other. We got they've lost a good, I say, close to 50 percent of the country, if not more, as far as going into refugees, uh, Turkey and Lebanon and other surrounding countries. But all of us have sinned and come short of the glory of God. Romans 3:23, for we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. All of us. That includes me. That includes Anita. That includes all of us. Without Jesus. They still die in their sins. John chapter 8 verse 24. Therefore I said to you that you will die in your sins. For if you do not believe that I am he, you will die in your sins. Hallelujah. Jesus is coming back. Faithful and true. Are you rapture ready? Can you deal with the reality of your own knees and they must be lifted up to Christ Jesus? Are you falling out of sync with your own own past of your own lives? Uh, why? Because it's not together. We have to turn it all to Jesus. Do you want your needs met? Your wife, you are at, at a friction end. Put it on the altar of God. If one of you is lagging behind, then you the other member of this couple, you have to show the strength. We have to put it, show that God's changing you. Show that you don't need anyone in this world but Jesus. And these people, your loved ones, will come back to you in Jesus' name. We, Our needs aren't the same as talking a game. We have to go to the game. We are the game. And Jesus is the, is the CFO, the owner of this team. He is our coach. He is our everything. He is our teacher. Show me one person on this world that could do, be your everything. And I will show you a false prophet. I will show you a lunatic who thinks he's God. We come into the aspirations of God's truth, his love, giving us the rapture of his time. Say, Lord, Take me, love me, I'm yours. Bring me to your mountaintop. Bring me to, the, to your valleys to strengthen me. Bring me back up again so I can be a beacon to the whole world. A beacon to the whole world in Jesus' name. I am shining out loud for you, O Lord. I am shining out for the holy truth, O God. Let's turn to Romans chapter 10, 14 and 15, or just jot this down. Romans chapter 10, 14 and 15. Bless, blessed be this day, O Lord Jesus Christ. How then shall they call on him whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe, how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? How shall they hear without a preacher? And how should they preach unless they are sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Isaiah 52, verse 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of, of him who brings good news, who proclaims peace, brings glad tidings of good things and proclaims salvation and says to Zion your God reigns your God reigns pay for the peace of Jerusalem those that do shall prosper and I see that at this point of our service we are living in the end times of end times we are living in a f way that it's exciting. I hear ministers say that all the time. I often say that. But we have to get off that bench. We have to, have to get off that church pew and dive into the living Word of God. Dive into that strength of the unity of the Holy Spirit to be a one mind and one judgment of Christ. Come into this time frame of this, of this world, of this time, right now. In Jesus' name. We sing of the Lord. We sing of the truth. The truth sets us all free. The truth of the 
Lord Jesus Christ comes to us right now why the need is not being met for some it is a lack of concern who needs Jesus Christ <laughs> you'll remember that decision you made at the judgment seat at your judgment seat not concerned for the Lord's calls who came to seek and save Luke chapter 19 verse 10 for the Son of Man who has come to seek and to save that which was lost you may be doing well financially some of it, some of you will be do, are doing quite brilliant but if you don't seek and, and save your own self or your family and by turning yourself into, into God you can't take any of your billions or millions to God with you to heaven with you you can easily be you shall be easily thrown into this lake of fire and there you shall dwell there for all of eternity but not concerned for those lost and dying in sin unlike Paul Romans chapter 10 verse 1 brother my heart's desire and prayer to God for Israel is that they may be saved we and as a ministry and as a family the Hewitt family we our desire is that the world hears God's cry wisdom is crying from every street corner take me come to me and be saved come to the waters and be saved in Jesus name in Jesus name we sing unto the Lord the truth the truth is the need the truth is the embrace the never-ending feeling of a kiss the truth hurts the truth beckons the truth calls you to do a new direction of the of that new heart a new depth of your heart and where what is the reflection of that depth of that new heart it's from the empty tomb the empty tomb is guiding you the empty tomb is is bringing you to this glory the empty tomb is singing his salvation of his love to you Lord take me love me I'm yours Lord I've been preaching for you for over 20 years and I'm still learning and learning and learning from you growing and growing and growing for you I want to change this world ever some more I want to travel ever some more guide us into the provisions of your love and truth the need to continue in your strength our needs my wife's needs to, to continue with you commanding our thoughts so we could commit our works unto you O God in Jesus name we left up all and all for you O God we left up all in the master's name of Jesus we cannot make the excuses that we are concerned just for our own welfare and danger by failing to bear fruit we cannot make excuses for not knowing God John chapter 15 1 and 2 I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser says says Jesus every branch in me that does not bear fruit he takes away and every branch that bears fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit it, have we become so hardened that we no longer care no lacking knowledge of God's love and God's word perhaps in a way that Jesus calls us to his mission Matthew 28 verse 19 go therefore and make disciples of all the nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit first Peter chapter 2 verses 9 you but you are a chosen generation a royal priesthood a holy nation his own special people that you may proclaim the praises of him who called you out of darkness and into his marvelous light the marvelous light light of the need for you to get into that light for you to be saved to be born again for you to move from undressing yourselves from the yoke of bondage the yoke of sin and dressing yourself into the robe of righteousness the robe of perfectionist the robe of salvation in Jesus name how do we do this brothers and sisters how do we get into this time the endless rhyme of God's love 
right now. This is those who don't know Christ, who wish to be born again, who wish to understand a stronger portion of being redeemed. Being redeemed. And those who wish their lives to be recommitted. Brothers and sisters, Romans 10.13 Oh, we should all know this by now, but let's sing up. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Dear God, repeat this off to me if you can, please. Dear God, I admit I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Jesus Christ died in my place paying the penalty for my sins. I am only right now to turn from my sin except, for Je except Jesus Christ as my personal Lord and Savior. I commit myself to you and ask you to send the Holy Spirit into my life. Fill me and take control and to make me the kind of person you have always wanted me to be. In Jesus' name. That's my wife praising your name in the background. I am lifting your name up before the throne of God. But most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Our needs are met. In Jesus' name, our hearts are renewed. In Jesus' name, we have the clarity of the mind. So we can see those who wish to help us around us. We have also, in Jesus' name, is sending forth his own people to teach you his living word of God, the gospel of truth, his preachers, his teachers, evangelists, his ministers, his prophets, his apostles. He's also lifting, teaching you your first offering is the offering of obedience to get into midweek Bible study, Sunday services of the saints small group Bible studies fellowship 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 in Jesus name in Jesus name also brethren we have a very large growing ministry my talented beautiful wife is on the injured reserve list but she's sharpening her irons and getting ready to come back at the end of September and we come to you as a growing church, growing ministry, praising, raising the praise every day to, for each and every one of us, raising the gospel of truth, and we want, invite you to travel with us, to be a financial partner with us, to go into the world and preach the gospel of truth to all the nations, as we just said. Come into this time, O oh Lord. Come into this truth. Come into this loving moment right now for the master's name of Jesus, and Jesus' name, for as you plant your seed, financial seed into this ministry, Jesus will show you the manifestation, the vision. The vision is the harvest is white, which is the harvest is now. If you're, if you're truthful and faithful to the Lord Jesus Christ by all that he's asking you to live by, that all that you've heard us teach by, from Bible studies, learning the living word of God, to living through scriptures, Galatians chapter 5, 22, 23. Then the manifestation of, of your offering will be revealed as the windows of heaven will open up above you that you have no room to restore any of these blessings to you in any of your homes, your storehouses, your apartments, <coughs> in Jesus' name. <coughs> Excuse me, in Jesus' name. And we bless God for all the fruitfulness of the journey of our wisdom and truth to come into each and every one of us <coughs> right now. In Jesus' name. Yet also, brothers and sisters, we pray for all strength of being courageous. Because too many people use the excuse of not having the courage. Rejected by loved ones. Ridiculed by friends and strangers. Revealed by enemies of Christ. For there is no need to fear such things. People are rejecting us 
and Christ. Of Christ was persecuted and denied by his own during his lifetime before he ever got into Gethsemane. Who are we to complain? If we build for the name of Christ, we are blessed. We are blessed. First Peter chapter four, fourteen through sixteen. Fourteen through first Peter chapter four, fourteen through sixteen. If you are reproached by the name of Christ, blessed are you by the Spirit of glory and of God rest upon you. And on your part he is blasphemed, but on your part he is glorified. But let none of your su of you suffer as a murderer, a thief, or an evil doer, or as a busybody in other people's matters. Yet if anyone suffers as Christians, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. We sing unto you, O God. We sing of the truth of the loving kindness that you have for each and every one of us. The truth does set us all free. The truth brings us to the mountaintops. So if we are servants of Christ, we seek to please God. We seek to please God, not men. Why should we care to please man? We have this right now. For do I now persuade men of God, or do I seek to please men? For if I, for if I still please men, I would not be bound servants of Christ. Are we willing to overcome our fears to save those who are lost? Can you do that? Can you do that? Is that too impossible for all of you who, who claim to be such courageous leaders, but you hide behind your own wives? <coughs> In Jesus' name. Problems with many markets are not just Los Angeles, that, that many of the ministers just focus uh, as their leadership of living a high pollutant lifestyle like many of my contemporaries in the, in the entertainment world. Well, they're not in the entertainment world. They're supposed to be saving souls. They're not supposed to be measuring their lives up like a CEO with many mistresses. They were supposed to be raised in the praise for the kingdom of God, teaching those that are lost. To give them their strength to do God's will. For I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. To give them the wisdom to teach his word. James chapter 1 verse 5. If any of you lacks wisdom, let him ask of God, who gives to all liberally and without reproach, and it will be given to him. To give them the courage to share his will. To share his will. Right now. In the matchless name of Jesus. For, for God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power and of, and of love and of sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1, 7 through 8. We should never be ashamed of the gospel. Therefore, do not be ashamed of the testimony of our Lord, nor for me, his prisoner, but share with me his sufferings for the gospel according to the power of God. Gospel of the, of the power of God. Distracted by things of the world. Too many of us have the excuses pathetic excuses that we have by. We come into this time frame right now. Speaking of the loving truth, some of you live for two masters, whether it's bowing down to someone who calls himself God, then going behind the pump and saying, hey, hallelujah! Such as serving two masters. No servant can serve two masters, for, he, for either he will hate the one or love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon such as loving both the Father and, our, and the world. Do not love the world or the things in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all of that is in the world, but the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life is not of the Father, but is. But is, brethren, the focus. Life is not of the Father, but is of the world, and the world is passing away, and the lust of, of it, but he who does the will of God abides. Brothers and sisters, look who just came into 
our broadcast. Uh, the Lord has permitted me. This God is my you. beautiful wife. God Got surgery you. on her blessed arm here. <laughs> and in the master's name of Jesus, yeah. I am blessed by her. You'll be seeing her right at the uh, beginning, end of the September. And let's get everything right here, honey. God bless you. Just move her all in so we can see you. In Jesus, you. In Jesus' name. name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you. We sing of God's love. We sing of His truth. <coughs> we sing of the time. God's endless rhyme. Are we going? Are we moving? Because of the joy is saving others. That's the need. There is joy. There is the joy you can have holes in heaven. There is a joy you will have pers you will have personally experience. In Luke chapter 15 verse 7, I say to you that likewise there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over 99 just persons who need no repentance. Paul referred to his co converts as his glory and joy. For what is our hope, our joy, our, our, our crown of rejoicing? It is not even you in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ at his coming. For you are our glory and joy. John had no greater joy than to see his children walk in truth. To see his John, third John, chapter four. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. The purpose. The greatest need of the church is to get back into original mission. The greatest need of the Christians is to be personal workers in the vineyard of the Lord. The harvest is now if you are totally obedient into the words and the blessings of the Lord Jesus Christ. If you stay in your yoke of sin, the harvest is not at all available to you. You've got the key of wisdom and God's going to unlock that treasure chest, give you a new heart, and you'll see where the Garden of Eden is inside your new heart. Where God has a plan, he has provisions for you, and that is all the provisions beyond the world could ever grasp within the Garden of Eden. And yes, financial blessings shall be coming to you as well. To ask the questions indicates concern. Good. To learn, one needs to add knowledge. Learn. To knowledge, one needs to add courage. Pray. Good. Learn. Pray. For God is good. God is wise. God is able. Brothers and sisters, we come into this moment, we come into this time, for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. We walk by faith and not by sight. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. We, take you. we thank you for this message of the need. We thank you for this message of the time. We thank you for the message that strengthens us as we lift up our repentance and our prayers unto you. Unto you. Unto you, O oh God, unto you, in Jesus' name. We sing of this strength that you poured on your wisdom and discernment upon us. We thank you for this new mercies of this day. We thank you for, oh God, how you give us the clarity of the mind and the renewing of the new heart. We thank you for this day. We thank you for the healing of my wife, Anita, the healing of our children, the healing of all that is in the Hewitt family, the healing of all. The power of forgiveness, lifting all and all. For the matchless name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. And brethren, that does conclude our broadcast for this afternoon. And take your time, get you through this first full day after the Labor Day here in the United States, Labor Day weekend. And we go forward in our new message of this day. Go and proclaim it to the to the street corners. Travel through the whispers of the wind and preach to all the corners of the world and every soul that is a citizen of this world and a citizen in heaven and be a witness to those that are lost in Christ we thank you for your time until next time to stay up to date with all of our news and information of our exciting crusades coming to your part of the world at BrianTewitt.com BrianTewitt.com and do visit our prayer request link as well as our online store again at BrianTewitt.com BrianTewitt.com we walk by faith and not by sight Au revoir, audios, good day for the people.